What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and CDS Actions, and we're going to talk about the CDS action or the Common Data Service action, which is create a new record. So I've previously been looking at the CDS um, CDS triggers. So this is the CDS connector that is not the current environment one. And now we're going to look at the actions that are associated with that uh, connector as well. So I'm in Power Automate here and I have a when a record is selected uh, trigger that we used in a previous video. So this allows you to run a flow manually on a record and then specify uh, things like name of account or any other inputs that we want to put in here. Um, and we can then use that later on. Now we're going to click on new step. I'm going to choose com data service. And then we have a list of our actions that we can do here. Um, and we have this one here that says create a new record. So once I hit create a new record, it's going to ask me for similar information like it usually does, uh, the environment that I want to create it in. So in this instance, I'm just going to use current environments. Again, if you'll be moving flows between environments um, for your sort of ALM process, uh, you may want to use current environment because then you don't need to come in here and update the trigger each time, uh, the environment each time you um, move it. You also can then specify a name, so you could um, create any record in the system. It doesn't need to be related to the one that you are running it on. Uh, in this instance, um, when I'm using when the record is selected trigger, I could choose any any sort of uh, records in the system. But again, I'm going to use accounts for ease. Um, so once I choose accounts, you see it took a second there, but it's loaded in um, some of the account fields. I can click on show advanced options and it'll show all of them. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose uh, name uh, of account. That is that text input from up here. Oops, just lost it. That is that text input from up here. Um, so I can say, right, okay, what I want to do is I want to take that name that the person specifying in there, and I'm going to use that for name of the account. Um, but what this also does is it gives us access to the information that is on that record anyway, um, so the, the selected record. So you could actually use this as um, a way to duplicate records. So you could say, right, I want to create a copy of this account um, and you could fill in, um, like just map all these dynamic fields to the dynamic fields over here and basically create a copy of that record and maybe you could append the name to copy or something like that. Um, so that's one, one use of this um, technology. So I could uh, take um, some other piece of information from there. Uh, maybe I'll find website. Uh, it's probably towards the bottom. Uh, no, website not in there. Website's there. It's hard to find. And then I could choose website in here. And I could map those two things in. So I can copy that from that when that record is selected. Again, doesn't really matter about the trigger. Um, you could be doing anything. It doesn't even need to be a CDS trigger to um, use the, the next action needs to be a create record. And that is the power of flow. So I'm going to save this. <coughs> And then I'm going to go test it in the system. So I'll move over to my dynamic system. Uh, and I've got a bunch of different accounts in here. Uh, and I could choose one. So I'm going to choose one that has a website in here, as we can see. So I'll choose Acme Inc. Um, and what I will choose, what I'll do is I'll go up to the top. We'll click on Flow. We'll click on CDS Trigger Flow, because that's the name of the flow that I've just created. Uh, we're going to go in here and then it's going to ask me for the name of the account uh, and the name of the account I'm going to call it Wayne Enterprises and we're going to run the flow click done um, it's going to take a second to run but if I unselect that I get this refresh button back in the ribbon which is great click that and we can see Wayne Enterprises has been created down here and we've copied across the website in here. If I go back to my flow, if I go look at the flow runs, see this one run 22 seconds ago, it's great. So when a flow is, uh, when a record is selected, um, we've got all that. 
the output it has actually gone off and it's looked at that website URL because that's something we're going to use later on and that's why that's in the output. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got the create the create a new record and again uh, we can see what it's done. So it's put that into the name which is great and we've taken the, the website URL there uh, and that's what we were putting into the, the inputs and then the outputs we actually get all the fields from the entire record so most of these are null because we haven't populated with anything um, some of the ones do have information i.e. Uh, website URL um, currency and things like that those are default fields so they get populated on create anyway so you do actually get a lot of information populated um, it's just interesting to kind of see the difference between between the, the inputs and the outputs. Uh, usually when I'm testing these sorts of things, inputs and the outputs usually match. So I kind of wanted to highlight that these inputs and outputs don't match. Um, there are specific fields that it's updating. So it is also interesting to note as well that it does certain things, like it says merge equals false, um, credit on hold equals false. So there's a, there's a selection of fields that is marking as part of this create a new record and those will be different depending on the type of uh, record or type of entity that you are doing this on. So I think that's really cool um, to, to do these sorts of things uh, and as you can see it's really straightforward it's just filling in um, some pieces of information. So what do you guys think? Is this uh, a cool feature? Do you use this a lot? Uh, I know I, I use this a lot when I need to automatically create records based on other things. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what you use this for. I'm always interested to find out your use cases. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.